It was humbling to get arrested yesterday at the U.S. Capitol. Many of the nearly 100 arrestees had come to put their bodies on the lines despite and because of their own homelessness, underemployment, immigration status, disability, or their own failing health. Their backs against the wall, all they can do now is push. I've been working on the front lines of social justice for nearly 40 years. The conditions in our country and our politics have never appeared so grim to me. Yet, I'm lifted out of despair and into hope by this campaign's new and unsettling force, which my heart tells me is our best hope today for building a movement that can take back our country, our dignity, our humanity. Can I guarantee that the Poor People's Campaign will prevail with victories that arrest systemic poverty, racism, ecological devastation, and the war economy? Can I guarantee that my arrest yesterday or the 3,000 arrests made in the campaign's initial 40-day season of moral direct action will make a difference? Of course not. But I can guarantee that if we do not get behind it, this best hope will fail. That's why I'm throwing everything I've got into this campaign. I'm proud of those FSTV donors who have already joined me, and I urge all those still on the sidelines to step onto the field today. We need you. Before we were arrested, Reverend Barber reminded us that this weekend is just the first step of this multi-year, interfaith, intergenerational, intersectional fusion movement. I'm filled with the feeling that history is being made today, and I'm so grateful that FSTV, our donors, and our viewers can proudly claim that we were among the founders of this powerful new movement. We are the foundation. We're not the end. We're the beginning.